Nokia L1 uh, mission is going to be launched on 2nd of September at 11:50 a.m. from Sriharikota and this is going to be launched on the PSLV C57 launcher now this uh, mission is the total weight is uh, not as much as Chandrayaan 3 so it's smaller and uh, so it can be launched by PSLV uh, launch vehicle now this launch vehicle will be the or the the kind of orbit it will take the, will be similar the route it takes will be similar once it is launched it will go on a circular orbit first and then it will uh, slingshot and make it into an elliptical orbit and after four such uh, orbit uh, um, uh, enhancements it will go on to a cruise phase so the l1 uh, point is at 1.5 million kilometers away so it will take uh, about uh, 100 to 120 days to reach the point so uh, that is uh, that is what the whole mission is about and then after reaching the l1 uh lagrange point it will be on a halo orbit and start the instruments start functioning from there so now we have land, uh, soft landed on the moon so we have a foot on the moon now we are trying to uh, see whether uh, how to study the sun so the important thing is we are living with a star and the star uh, actually has a lot of features which still we do not understand for example we know that the nuclear uh, fusion is going on inside the sun and that is how the sun is generating energy and it uh, it uh, the the sun is uh, giving us uh, 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 light and heat from there the surface of the the sun is at uh, 5000 to 6000 degree but the corona of the sun is a million degree kelvin not only that sun also burps giving out a large amount of plasma which actually uh, affects the space weather and also the charged particles in the Uh, uh, uh in the outer uh, uh, part of the uh, solar system so the space weather studies are also important so the seven payloads on the aditya l1 will be doing two kinds of uh, experiments one is the uh, remote sensing like look at the sun and collect the radiation and study and a few of them will be actually measuring the particles present at that particular uh, point and also the magnetic field see pslv is a, a trusted workhorse of isro and it's going to be used now uh, in the launching of aditya l1 aditya l1 has to uh, find its place eventually at a point called l1 it, or lagrange uh, 1 uh, which is a point uh, between the earth sun line uh, in the direction of the sun about 15 lakh kilometers from the earth so that's where uh, the earth and sun's gravity uh, balance each other and around is a point which is not a mass but just a point uh, aditya l1 is going to be in our in our orbit and will be facing the sun all the time and then gives uh, take observations and pass them on to uh, ground stations of isro but uh, apart from this Uh, uh pslv rocket has been used uh, for most of the uh, launches by isro it is a trusted uh, workhorse as they call it and uh, its design goes back to 1968 when uh, incospar uh, was wanting to develop its own uh, satellite launch vehicle so there were six designs ready and dr vikram sarabhai uh, liked the uh, th- uh, design number 3 which was called slv 3 so uh, dr abdul kalam uh, was roped in to develop it further and uh, that's how uh, slv3 uh, came into being and then uh, it it was used for launching uh, rohini satellites in space but slv3 had a limitation of uh, payload mass f- of around 40 to 50 kg of further development eventually uh, first it became augmented uh, satellite launch vehicle after that it became polar satellite launch vehicle and its uh, uh, j- carrying capacity rather uh, payload bearing capacity was increased now pslv can take about 3200 kg in low earth orbit and about 1400 kg in uh, in uh, geostationary uh, orbit